on Shopify, you have the ability to browse and select from dozens of stunning themes that you can customize and use for your online store. When you first join Shopify, there's already a default theme set up to help you get started. But in this video, I'll be demonstrating how to browse, select, and customize a new theme for your Shopify store. From the Shopify theme store, you can search through tons of free and paid themes that you can customize and use for your online store. Only one theme can be published at a time, but you can have multiple themes in your theme library, which you can switch through anytime you wish. This gives you the ability to easily revert back to a previous theme or have multiple versions of your online store that you can use. The themes available on Shopify all have different styles and layouts and can offer a different experience for your customers. Some themes on Shopify also provide more customization options than others, so make sure you select the one that best suits your needs. I'm currently using the minimal theme in my Shopify store, which has a lot less customization options than newer themes. I think it's time to upgrade, so let's head over to Shopify and go over how to select and customize a new theme for my online store. If you haven't joined Shopify yet, make sure you click my link in the video description to access your free trial. No credit card is required to unlock your free trial, and if you like it, which I bet you will, you can get three months of Shopify for only a dollar per month on select plans. If you're an entrepreneur, Shopify is definitely one of the most popular and one of the best platforms you could use to build your online business. So once you get to Shopify, go ahead and log in. You should then be taken to your account dashboard. Here's where you can view your analytics, add new products, and of course, update your theme. If you look at the menu on the left hand side, you should see a tab that says online store. Let's click that now. This should take you to the themes page where you can view and customize the theme that you're currently using with your Shopify store. I'm currently using the minimal theme, which is actually pretty old. If we click the tab here to view my store, we can see that although the minimal theme works great, it looks a bit basic. Also, I want to add some elements to my Shopify store that aren't available with the minimal theme. So let's head back over to the themes page on our Shopify dashboard and go over how to find a new theme for my Shopify store. If you look underneath your theme preview at the top, you should see your theme library. Here's where you can view all of the themes that you currently have installed on Shopify. Remember that you can have several themes in your theme library, but you can only have one published at a time. And if you scroll down to the bottom, you can also access the Shopify theme store where you can find and install new themes on your Shopify account. If you look on the bottom right here, you should see a button that says visit theme store. Let's click that now. This will take you to the Shopify theme store where you can browse through dozens of professional themes that you can use for your Shopify store. They currently have 119 themes and new themes are constantly being added. They have both free and paid themes available with different styles and designs. So take your time and browse through the various themes and find one that best suits your brand and products. If you wanted to only display the free themes or select another filter, you can use the menu on the left hand side here. The page should then display all the themes that match your criteria. So for my demo store, let's check out this free theme here. When you select a theme, you'll be taken to the themes details page where you can view the themes information and features. Take your time and check out all the theme options and make sure it has everything that you're looking for. I think this theme will work for my Shopify store. So let's go back up to the top and click the try theme button. You'll then see a page where you can confirm that you wanna add the theme to your theme library. Go ahead and click the add theme button. Your new theme will then be installed and added to your theme library. If you scroll down to your theme library, you should see your new theme with the just added icon beside it. Now that we've installed our new theme, we'll now have to customize it before we can publish it to our online store. To do this, let's click the customize button on the right hand side. This will take you to the Shopify theme editor where you can fully customize your Shopify theme. From the menu on the left hand side, you can easily edit your homepage and your theme settings. By default, your theme will already have various sections added to the homepage. And on the right, you can see how each section will look in your online store and preview your changes as you make them. So to customize your homepage, you can simply add content to all the sections that you want to display. 
So for my new theme, the first section we have here is the announcement bar. If you click the tab underneath the announcement bar drop down menu, you'll be able to edit the announcement settings. You can edit your text, select your alignment and your color scheme, and even add a link if you like. Once you're finished, simply click the back button to go back to the theme editor main page. The next section you'll likely have on your theme is your header. If you click on the header tab, you'll be able to edit some important elements of your theme, such as your color scheme, your logo, your menu settings, and more. If we look at my store preview on the right hand side, you can see that it's currently displaying my store name in a text format, but I want to add my logo. To add your logo to your store, you'll need to access your theme settings. You can access your theme settings by clicking the icon here on the left hand side, but I'm just going to click the link here. From your theme settings, you can upload your logo, your favicon, adjust your colors, your store layout, and much more. So let's add my logo to my store by clicking the select image button here. You can then upload your logo from your device, or if your logo has already been uploaded from a previous theme, you can search through your previously uploaded images. My logo is already in my Shopify image library, so let's select it here. When you select your logo, you should see it appear in the preview on the right hand side. If everything looks good, go ahead and click the select button at the bottom. Now that you've added your logo, you can adjust this size and other options in your theme settings. Once you're finished, let's click the icon at the top left here to go back to the home page editor. So the next section I can edit here on my new theme is my slideshow. It's currently set up to display three different slideshow images, but if I wanted to add more, I can click the add slide button at the bottom here. So let's set up my first slide by clicking the first slideshow tab here. Here I can add my slideshow image, add a heading, a subheading, a link to my button, and more. So let's start by uploading my first slideshow image. To do this, let's go up top here and click the select image button. You can then click the upload button and find and upload the image that you want to use for your slideshow. Your slideshow is one of the first things that customers will see when visiting your online store, so you want to make sure to use high quality and eye catching images. If you need help creating logos, banners, and other graphics for your Shopify store, make sure you click my link in the video description to unlock your free trial of Canva Pro. With Canva Pro, you can access the entire Canva library of images and graphics, thousands of professional design templates, unlock the background remover tool, and tons of other tools and features to help you create amazing images for your Shopify store. To try Canva Pro for free, head over to jasongandy.info or simply click the link in the video description. Now that I've uploaded and selected my slideshow image, let's go down to the bottom and click the select button. You can now update your slide by adding your heading, your subheading, and any other available options. I'm gonna leave my button label as shop now, but let's add a button link. If you click the text field under button link, you'll see a drop down menu with various places in your Shopify store that you can send the customer to. Each of my slides will represent a different collection in my Shopify store, so let's click the collections tab at the top. This will open up a new menu that shows all the different collections in my Shopify store. For this slot, let's select my clothing and apparel collection. So now when a customer clicks my shop now button, they'll be taken directly to my collection. Feel free to adjust any of the other settings and options, and once you're finished, go ahead and click the back button. You can now go through the same process to add content to the other slides in your slideshow as well. So the next section I have here on my theme is my featured collections. Here's where you can select one of your product collections to feature on your homepage. From here, you can add a heading and a description for your featured collection. As you type, you should see it appear on the preview on the right hand side. If you scroll down to the collection section, you can select the collection in your Shopify store that you want to feature. To change your collection, go ahead and click the change button. From the drop down menu, you can then select change collection. This will pull up a menu displaying all the different collections that you've created in your Shopify store. For my featured collection, I'm going to select my clothing and apparel collection. Once you choose your featured collection, go ahead and click the select button at the bottom. Feel free to make any other changes, but once you're ready, go ahead and click the back button. When customizing your theme, it's a good idea to frequently hit the save button at the top right of the page. 
This will make sure your changes are saved and that you don't do all your hard work for nothing. So the next section we have on my theme here is the multi-column section. When customizing your new theme, there may be sections that you don't want to display. The multi-column is typically used for reviews and testimonials, but since my store is new, I don't have any. So to hide it from my homepage, let's look on the right hand side and click the eyeball icon here. This is a simple way to easily hide sections on your homepage. You can also add new sections to your homepage if you like as well. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you should see a tab that says add section. If you click this, you'll see a menu appear with all the various sections that are available for your theme. Any of the sections can be added to your homepage, so you have a range of options for your online store. But keep in mind, some themes may have more options than others. So to add a new section to your homepage, simply select it here. You can add sections such as featured products with text, your most recent blog posts, or even a video talking about your brand or products. Also, you can easily rearrange the sections on your homepage by simply grabbing the vertical dots icon here and dragging the section to whatever location you wish. So take your time and add various sections to build the perfect homepage for your business. At the very bottom of the menu on the left, you can also update your online store footer. If you click the footer tab, you can select the various options for your footer, and for your footer sections, simply click to edit each one. So once you're finished customizing the theme for your homepage, you can also use the drop down menu up top here to edit other pages in your online store as well. But once you're finished editing, make sure you go up to the top right and click on save. And if you've already added everything to your theme that you want to add and you're happy with your store preview, go ahead and click the publish button at the top. You'll then see a confirmation window pop up. To replace your current theme, go ahead and click on publish. And my old minimal theme should now be replaced with my new theme. And since we added our customizations before publishing, everything should be ready to go. So let's click on view your store here and see how my new theme looks in my online store. Not bad, and this theme is definitely a lot more eye-catching than the last theme I was using. We can see all the sections that I added to my homepage and my images and text. And keep in mind that if you ever want to browse, customize, or add a new theme to your online store, simply go to the themes page in your Shopify dashboard. So that's a quick overview of how to change and customize your Shopify store theme. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.